it allows them to gain access to hundreds or thousands of children that they wouldn't otherwise have access to. The battle against the brutal exploitation of our children online. It only got harder during the pandemic. As children's time online went up, so did the number of opportunities predators had to try to take advantage of. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Natalie Wilson. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children saw a 35% increase in reports of suspected child exploitation in 2021 compared to 2020. Fox 8's Daniel Pierce joins us live. Daniel, some alarming numbers here and this discovery happening using everyday technology. Yeah, everyday technology like cell phones, computers, iPads, they are all being used the same amount to do the same thing and that is to exploit children and what is also being found is that exploited material that is being gotten on these devices that is produced in the U.S. even here in the triad is not just staying here. I don't know what to think anymore because this is such a, an international issue. An international issue that involves more than 29.3 million reports of child exploitation material being found in 2021. That's up from 21.6 in 2020 and it's not slowing down in 2022. We've seen a large increase in several categories of cyber tip line reports, including um, online enticement and grooming cases specifically. The Center for Missing and Exploited Children was alerted to more than 4,000 new victims last year. Reports show predators were contacting children not to meet them in person, but rather send them sexually explicit material. They've built a trust with that individual, that offender that is uh, manipulating them and exploiting them. It's horrific. It's barbaric. When we have seen what we believed to be production, we've kicked down some doors because we can't have that here in North Carolina. We sat down with former U.S. Attorney Matt Martin in 2021 as cases like these began to rise. What his department found is that adults are using more encrypted dark web apps to lure children. Places such as Facebook a lot of times will police. So there's an effort to try to cover, 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 because oftentimes People who are closest to them have no idea. The exploitation that does happen is being found on phones across the globe. So even when a victim is rescued, the damage isn't going away. And walking around not knowing if the people at the grocery store you're with or the people on the bus, have they seen those images of me? Because they're still out there. And there are some things that parents can do to try and limit this exposure. For one, you can block what types of apps appear on your child's phone or even on the computer or even set timers to where they can't use it past a certain time of day. Now, experts said you can just take all these devices completely away from your children, but you still need to have a very open, honest, and real conversation with them because more than likely they're going to run into these, whether it be at a friend's house, out in public, or even at school. Live in High Point, Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News.